Hello and welcome to the Discriminating Gamer, the board game review show that absolutely loved the deleted scenes from Steven Spielberg's Lincoln. Especially the one where uh, Abraham Lincoln uh, faked his own death and bezeled all that money and ran away to that desert island with that 19 year old. Anyway, my name is Cody and today we're going to be taking a look at No Retreat 3 from Victory Point Games. No Retreat 3, The French Front, May, June 1940, from Victory Point Games, is a game all about World War II. This was a war that took place in, you guessed it, 1940, as well as 1939, 41, 40, it, back then. Anyway, this is a war game that reenacts the German dash through the Ardennes in 1940 and the subsequent fall of Paris. You can recreate all of the very interesting moments from that campaign, the bottling up of the BEF and the French forces at Dunkirk, the assaults upon the Maginot Line. Uh, it's, it, it's really quite uh, historic in its depth. Uh, but how does it play? Well, this is a standard war game. You've got the Germans versus the French. You've got units that have pretty standard stats, movement, combat, etc. You're going to go ahead and add, uh, you know, attack points, uh, combat strength together, consult a chart, and it's going to tell you what happens. You know, do you withdraw? Are you, uh, do you suffer casualties? Um, all sorts of things like that. Just your ba kind of basic war game stuff. But the game also introduces a certain level of complexity. Um, there's complexity in, uh, for instance, a, a mechanic known as counter blows. Uh, when you roll the dice, you effectively can uh, place a counter blow token, meaning uh, on the next player's turn, they have to attack that particular unit that attacked them. It's kind of a way of drawing focus away from other attacks, sort of like spoiling attacks uh, on an actual battlefield, and it does that very, very well. The game also is uh, somewhat card driven. You're going to have influence tokens that you're going to spend in order to use cards that, again, recreate a lot of different uh, historical scenarios. You can recreate Hitler's halt order uh, in this game. <clears throat> There's also um, interesting fixed position rules. For instance, you've got the Maginot Line, which was, as we know, a major, major blockade to uh, Hitler's advance uh, along the German-French border, prompting him, of course, to move through the uh, Ardennes Forest. The game, again, there's different scenarios. Um, capturing Paris is, you know, one of your objectives. Uh, there's various other objectives, but it's very kind of a straightforward war game in many respects. So, what do I think of No Retreat, The French Front, May, June, 1940? Well, I gotta tell you, I am a huge, huge fan of military history, uh, games, uh, particularly World War II, um, and particularly this campaign. I'm fascinated by the fall of France in uh, June of 1940. I wrote my uh, uh, master's thesis on Hitler and Stalin as military commanders, uh, kind of the way they interact with their generals has always, always fascinated me, both on a kind of a political and military level, where they intersect there. Um, and this game, I think, really, really well captures that history. It, you know, you can, you can tell a lot of thought went into this game to make this both a playable game and a good historical scenario. And of course, we're at a point now where most games uh, that come out, you know, by companies like Victory Point or GMT or, or whatever, really have strong, strong historical themes. This is no exception. <clears throat> this game also comes with a big, giant puzzle map, and I really love those puzzle maps that Victory Point Games uh, does. They're fun to put together, fun to play on. In just a moment, I want to give a big shout out to Mr. Tim Allen. I, I haven't mentioned him enough. Now, this game is designed by uh, Carl uh, Paradis, uh, I believe, and, and he did a great job, but Mr. Tim Allen just does phenomenal work as an artist on these maps. And this is credited to both uh, Alan and Paratus, so I don't know who all did what, but I gotta tell you, Tim Allen has done a lot of work on these, on these uh, Victory Point Games maps, and they're just all 
beautiful maps, fun to play on. So really, sir, my hat's off to you. Not literally, because I'm balding, but I'm really, really, really pleased with the level of work you do, sir, Mr. Tim Allen. So, keep it up. This game rates as a number five on Victory Point's scale of how complicated it is. Now, I gotta tell you, this is probably my upper limit of how complicated I like my games to be. I, I, I had fun with this game, but I was spending a lot of time reading the rules, trying to understand concepts, and to me there gets a point of diminishing returns. Um, so I guess, and that to me tops out right about a five and a six. I did like this game, don't misunderstand me, but if it were any more complex, I probably wouldn't have. This is probably my upper limit of complexity and I like in a game. Now that shouldn't discourage you. I think a lot of people probably like a little bit more complexity in their war games, and that's fine. That's Again, that's a personal thing. It doesn't reflect on the game. I think this is a very solid war game, a very well put together war game. When we played it, um, <clears throat> I, I was the French the first time we played it, and uh, my friend Justin was the Germans. And it was intense, you know, it was, it was you know, nail biting right up uh, to the end, and of course he won. But it, it's, it's great fun, great historical theme. I, uh, I really think war gamers are going to get a, a big kick out of No Retreat, three from Victory Point Games. So the recommendation for the discriminating gamer is if you like the complexity, buy it. once again for joining us here on The Discriminating Gamer. Please, please, please uh, leave a comment here on YouTube, on Facebook, on our website, on Board Game Geek, and please like us on Facebook and subscribe to us on YouTube. We are The Discriminating Gamer. France.